During the summer, I was thinking about what kind of game I wanted to make next. And as I was playing Hearthstone Battlegrounds, I thought maybe I want to make some kind of single player auto chess battler. But then, as I was watching my favorite homeless streamer lose all of his game in Counter Strike. Uh, do you speak Turkish? No, <laughs> I don't speak Turkish. <laughs> why, why, why don't speak Turkish, bro? I thought, this guy doesn't have any games to play anymore. Why don't I make a game for him? What a great idea, I'm sure he will play my game. The pros with the fan game is that it doesn't have to be very polished. I can steal all of the art and the music, so I don't have to waste time on that. Which means that I can spend more time on the game itself. And the con is of course that I can't make any money off it. But since I didn't really have a good idea of a game I wanted to make anyway, I thought that this can't take too much time, so let's go for it. And to make sure that I actually finish this game, I'm gonna make these devlogs from time to time. So if you wanna watch more about the process of making a fan game, you can subscribe. My idea for the fan game is that I wanna make multiple instances of games that Forsen has played before. So the first part in the fan game I'm working on is the Jump King part. And the first thing I started to work on there is to make the movement of the character feel like the movement in Jump King. So first I just made a character being able to move back and forth. After that comes the jump. The jump in Jump King is uh, very specific. It's a short jump, so when you release it, you jump instead of jumping as soon as you hit the button. And I had to make sure that there was a minimum jump and a max jump. And then I had to make sure that when you hit a wall or a roof, that you lose all your momentum and you fall straight down. And this, you can also use this to your advantage to jump up walls, like a bounce. Then I started to work on the level design. I uh, just took a bunch of uh, Force and E pictures and uh, started working on the design of the level itself. After that, I tried to find out how to do a dialogue system. This was really one of the things I wanted to learn with this project. I wanted to make a good dialogue system in Godot, but apparently there is already a very useful add-on you can use, which is called Dialogic. I don't have to program anything basically. I just uh, write all the lines that the characters say and it spits it out. Very beautiful. I'm gonna have to adjust the graphics a bit, but for now it's really pretty. Then when I was done with the level design, I had to make all of the graphics. And uh, with a game like this, I just it takes a lot of time to find good backgrounds, to find relevant meme uh, graphics. Uh, this took about like nine hours to fill all of it up. But in the end, I thought it was pretty good. I filled it with some characters as well. And uh, after about 20 hours of work, I felt pretty satisfied with the Jump King part of the game. So I made a demo for people to try out and give me some feedback. And uh, after this feedback, I realized that I had missed some basic things that Jump King has. So I implemented those real quick, made a couple of more changes. And uh, then I felt pretty confident with my Jump King part. So now I'm gonna start working toward towards the next uh, part of the game, which I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna look like yet. Uh, this is the time I've spent on the game so far. This graph will uh, continue to grow as time grows. And if you wanna download the demo, you can do that in the description. This is my first devlog, so I'm not quite sure how to structure it, but I hope this was good enough for the first time. I hope you guys uh, learned something or found, found this interesting. Uh, I'll make another devlog maybe in two three weeks see you guys then peace